In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the legendary bounty this week in Red Dead Online. So the target you're after this week is a criminal that goes by the name of Philip Carlier. To begin the mission to catch him, you need to go to your nearest bounty board in Free Roam to find the bounty poster on the board. The poster gives you a bit more information on the target. Believed to live alone in the swamps of Lagrasse for the last two years after the murder of a fellow employee of the Lemoyne Trading Company. Spotted dressed in shabby clothing and reported to be mentally unstable due to isolation. After you select this bounty poster, you'll then see a cutscene about the target. This shows his transition from what seems like a smart, well-presented gentleman, despite the fact he's covered in blood and murdering someone with what appears to be a candlestick, to a shabby little swamp dweller. He has basically gone mental after living for two years in the swamp. So as usual after the cutscene you're then taken to the mission and spawn in on horseback. At this point I was expecting the usual thing that we've seen with these bounties which is a marker on the map straight away telling you where the bounty is or whereabouts they will be. This one was different though, you get pulled straight away into another cutscene. In this your character very stupidly approaches Philip Carlier without a care in the world, getting drawn in by his charm and clearly his good looks. He then gets knocked out by the fumes from a cooking pot following Big Phil chucking some poisonous shit in there. As my character fell to the floor, I was assuming I'd find myself waking up in some sort of cage or something like that, but it was much worse. There was a giant owl. This next phase of the mission was very Rockstar-esque. It was really sort of out of body experience and it was really surreal. You wake up in the middle of a field and your movements and camera look very similar to when your character has had one too many whiskies at the local saloon. As always in Red Dead, the first thing you think to do isn't calmly try and leave the area. Start f***ing shooting. The creatures around you are massive and one hit kills and when you shoot them they puff into a ball of smoke and disappear. It's at this point you notice that Carlier is running at you with a machete so shoot him before he can reach you. He will keep respawning with a bang and sprinting at you with his weapon so keep taking him down. Other animals spawn too but focus your attention on Phil. So there are a few things to keep in mind here. As he spawns with a little explosion, wearing headphones will be very useful here to get a good idea of what direction he's coming from. When you get to the later variants of this mission and your replays get up to the 4 and five star mark this will be even more important as i imagine it will get very very difficult to keep him at bay secondly he is a one hit kill in at least the first variation of this mission so a weapon with a forgiving spray is recommended your shotgun or shotguns in this instance are your best friends here the vomit rifle worked well for me here as well because it's got a big mag and a rapid fire rate make sure though that you sort your classes out before you select the poster from the bounty board. I only used the varmint in this instance because I didn't sort my class out before the mission. And you're unable to call your horse in this section, so don't forget to do it before you head in. Now in this last clip, I let him run up right in front of me to see what happened, and he sort of does a shocked face and runs away with a little sort of slice. So once you've sorted out Carlier, you'll slowly come out of your stone state and be able to call your horse. At this point, you can carry on with the mission as you normally would with a legendary bounty, opening up your map and trying to find out where he is. So here you'll see that there are three distinct locations that you'll find him, or have the chance to find him. He will be in one of these three, so call your horse, jump on, change your weapons if you need to, and head out and look for him. Now, occasionally you will find some clues dotted around the area, but these really aren't worth stopping for, so I just carry on past these. Now, as you move around the area, be wary of alligators as well as swamp scumbags that he's also got on his payroll. For the most part, these boys don't carry any firearms, but they will run at you with a machete in a Carlier style. So eventually, after you've gone through all three yellow areas on the map, you will run into Carlier. In my instance, he was on this little island out of fire. The best way to deal with him is to stay on horseback. You'll need to stay on horseback anyway to really effectively go across the water. And then when you get up close, lasso him. Jump off and hog time when you get that prompt. Pick him up and chuck him on the back of your horse. But before you do that, make sure there aren't any enemies near because this is a really slow animation. So you are vulnerable for the time that you're picking him up and putting him on the horse. Now, much like the Wolfman from a few weeks ago, Philip Carlier does have some animal mates, so the alligators in the area will come and try to attack you, as well as those swamp scumbags that I mentioned previously. Try and keep the alligators at bay and try and keep away from them as well, because they will spook your horse. It's up to you at this point as well whether you want to take out these enemies or just ride off to the police station and drop him off. In the one-star variation of this mission, you don't get any hassle on the road as you go into Saint Denis to drop him off. Although in the later versions of this mission, this may well happen. So then after you've taken him back to the police station in Saint Denis, you will put him in a cell and the mission is complete. I recently made a video celebrating the fact that I've just recently hit 10,000 subscribers on YouTube, so I'd love if you check that one out. You can see it on screen now. Thanks again for all your support. Also, if you enjoyed this video or it helped you out at all, then please give it a like and consider subscribing for more content like this in the future. I'll be covering all the legendary bounties every single week that they're released. Thanks a lot for watching. I'm James Cookie.
Cheers.